Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be looking at Action Comics 847. This is dealing with Superman tanking the 50 plus supernova attack and in depth looks because this feat is very downplayed by a lot of people. Okay, so jumping right into it, Sun Eaters in DC Universe are basically things that eat suns, and the more suns they absorb, the more powerful they become. Now, Superman states that this Star Eater has the potential energy to wipe out star systems. Now, going off the definition of star system, that can range anywhere from multi solar system level to multi galaxy level. But for the sake of the video, we're going to keep it in the multi star to multi solar system level. Now, one of the biggest things that low ballers love to skip over, they constantly seem to forget that this is red sun radiation, which robs Superman of his powers. So, the longer he is, to his red sun the less his power becomes in a sense he's becoming weaker and weaker and this is before he took the initial blast that knocked him backwards now as we all know superman took a bomb inside of the sun in order to detonate it now it is literally stated right here that superman needed to get the bomb inside of the sun superman even stated hey give me the bomb and i'll take it to the target indicating that he's going inside of the sun now remember I stated earlier that Superman was constantly being drained by red sun radiation. It's even stated in the context that people ignore. Over time Superman got weaker and weaker. At first he was easily dodging the red blasts that were coming towards him but eventually he started to get weaker as stated here by Jonathan Kent. Now it's even stated here again that Superman was protecting the bomb which should have been a huge indication why would he protect the bomb because he's supposed to take it to the heart of the star like it was stated earlier in the book the bomb needed to be brought inside of the sun like i just don't understand how people try to lowball this feat without taking the context okay you see how superman is tanking red sunlight right here right jonathan kent states that superman got past the ray beams and inside of that thing so to the lowballers, if Superman isn't inside of the sun, then what is he inside of? You see what I mean? You see how you have to read and understand context before you try to fake, debunk a feat, read context. If he's not inside of the sun, then what is he inside of? You see, that doesn't even make sense. He's obviously inside of the sun. Right after that, it gives another clear indication that Superman was inside of the sun. The radiation inside was horrendous. I don't understand like clearly he's inside of the sun when he took the initial attack even if you look behind him you can see that it's all red indicating that he literally is inside of the sun i don't understand why people just don't read context and try to debunk stuff so yes superman took the force of 50 times bigger than kepler's supernova because it was literally point blank in his face and before someone tries to point out the obvious, yes, Superman most likely would have died. Why? Because this is red sun radiation. At the same time, they'll completely ignore that he was already tanking red sun radiation way before this even happened. Now, it is stated that the electromagnetic shock waves rushing at Superman at light speed. Keep that in mind. Because literally on the next panel, Jonathan Kent questions if Superman is usually faster than light. And he stated, unfortunately, that day he didn't have to. So once again, to the low ballers, how in the hell did Superman outrun light speed moving below light speed? You see how that doesn't make sense once again? Just another clear indication that Superman did in fact tank the 50 times Kevlar supernova to the face. Now, Jonathan Kent stated that Superman didn't need to be moving at faster than light speeds because the ship can automatically move by itself and the ship is capable of moving at faster than light speeds that's one of the reasons why he was able to outrun the expanding ball of radiation anyway hope you enjoyed the video peace out guys i will see you next time